the Hound Group. And I would like to introduce you to your judge, Mrs. Anne McDonald. And is accompanied to the ring again by the Vice Chairman of the Tennis Club, Mr. Phil Hardaway. Anna spent most of her life in dogs, starting exhibiting with the Pembroke Corgis with her mother at 12 years of age. She began judging in 1964 and has approved to judge 23 breeds, 21 of which are in the Hound Group. She is also the convener of the Scottish Club. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Anne McDonald. And I'll give you the first breed. The Afghan Hound. The Pesenji. The Basiswar Afghanian. Grand Basi Griffin Bandini. The Petit Grissom Griffin Bandini. The Basset Hound. The Beagle. The Bloodhound. The Borzoi. The Longhaired Jackson. The Miniature Longhaired Jackson. The Smooth Haired Jackson. And the Miniature Smooth Haired Jackson. Wire Haired Jackson. Followed by the miniature white hair Jackson. The deer hound. The finished fits. The fox hound. The grey hound. The Hamilton Scarborough. The Ibethan hound. The Irish Wolfhound. Norwegian Elkhound. The Otterhound. The Pharaohhound. The Portuguese Padendo. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. The Saluki. The Slugi. And bringing up the rear, the Whippet. Now I hand you back to Graham in the comedy box. Thank you, Bob. Well, here we are, the second group to be judged this evening. This is the first day of Crufts 2009, the Hound Group. This is one of our largest groups we seen here at Crufts, so numerically in the number of breeds that is. We have 30 breeds represented here in the group, all having been judged the best in their respective breeds, of course. This year at Crufts we have one more breed represented here in the Hound Group ring. This is the Portuguese Bedengo, one of the most recent breeds who have been recognised by the Kennel Club. So there are 30 breeds here in the ring. 26 of those breeds have challenge certificates on offer. There are four breeds which still have yet to attain full and on cover approval for challenge certificates. So we can be awarded these breeds the title of champion, which as yet cannot be achieved. This group contains some of the oldest of the dog breeds. Long before invention of guns or other weapons, in hunting prey with dogs. Here we see some of them. And as Suzanne McDonald completes her first appraisal of each of the breeds, she moves swiftly to the first of the Afghan, the first of the hand breeds, the Afghan hand. This is one of the breeds in the hand group that has 
What are the larger entries? An entry of 256 made by 239 exhibits. And so they had two judges. Males were judged by Mrs. L. I. M. Busby, and bitches by Mr. K. D. Sinclair. This breed is a, one that can be said is once seen, never forgotten. The Afghan is one of the most glamorous of the large breeds. This one is selected from our judges, and is exhibit number 2668 as best of breed. It's one of the sight hands of the hand breed, of the hand group. Now we see the Basenji. This is F.A. Summerfield was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 59 made by 57 exhibits. And this bitch was selected as best of breed, exhibit number 2739. The Basenji is a breed native to the inner, inner Congo Basin. It was used by the natives to hunt game in more recent times. And the method of hunting was by driving them into a net. Individual dogs were much treasured for their hunting ability. Basenji best of breed, exhibit number 2739. And now we see the Basset to Britannia. The breed was judged today by Mrs. Lee Phillips, and there was a breed entry of 59, made by 50 exhibits. And Mrs. Phillips selected this male for best of breed, exhibit number 2780. The name Basset to Britannia gives the clue to the breed's origins, which of course is in France. A relatively recent arrival, it was introduced into Britain in 1983. This is a dog of handy size, short legged with a wire coat, and is suitable for the small house and garden. The Basset Bird of Britannia is a tough little character and eager for all the exercises given. It's one of the smallest French hounds and is rarely seen outside France, and of course except here in Britain. That's the Basset Fauve de Britannia, exhibit number 2780. And now we see the Grand Basset Griffon Vendion. The breed was judged today by Mrs. M. R. Nixon, and she received a breed entry of 42 made by 40 exhibits. Mrs. Nixon selected this male as best degree, exhibit number 2845. Taller than most of the Bassets, the Grand Basset is a handsome and independent breed with a strong will of its own. Although obstinate, it's a, a very affectionate breed. And it goes by the name of GBGB, as it's short and form. It's a very long name for a breed. That's Grand Basset Griffin Bonnion is a breed which was selected and bred and created by French breeder Paul Gazemi. That's the Grand Basset Griffin Bonnion, best of breed 2845. And next we have the Petit version, the Petit Basset Griffin Bonnion. This is D. Courtney, who was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 85 made by 84 exhibits. And this is Courtney selected as Bitch's Best to Breed, exhibit number 2927. The Petit is the most popular of all the Griffon Bondions, and gaining popularity with breeders and owners in many parts of the world, including here in Great Britain. The Petit Basset Griffon Bondion is quite a mouthful, and so is affectionately shortened to PBGB. Though the blue man is a bit of a mouthful, he does 
to buy a second tire of food, the team small, Basso, short legged or low to the ground, Griffon, rough coated, and Vendéon, originated from the Vendée area of France. That's the Petit Basso Griffon Vendéon, exhibit number 92927. And now we see the Basso Town. Mr. R. Metcalf was the breed judge, and there was an entry of 114 made by 134 exhibits. And Mr. Metcalf selected this picture's best to breed, exhibit number 2978. This is a hound of ancient lineage, and is typified by its calm, serious expression. The Basset, originally from the continent, was reputedly bred by the monks of France in the Middle Ages. The hunting heavy cover. <laughs> this breeds another scent hound to this group. The basset hound can follow a scent trail which is hours old. A real family dog that is happy to hunt over the moors or lay by the fireside. That's the basset hound best of breed, exhibit number 2978. Table, we have one of the most popular of the hounds, the Beagle. This is how Pete Hawley was the breed judge. It was a breed entry of 270, made by 240 exhibits. And Mrs. Hawley selected this bitch for best of breed, exhibit number 3221. This is essentially a British dog, one of the oldest of the hounds known to these shores, and maybe descended from the Harrier Hawk ancient English hound. A breed which is sturdy, bold, and active. Independent with a strong ten tendency to wander when distracted by an interesting scent. The breed was a popular companion in its affectionate nature and low degree of depression. At one time in Great Britain, and its hunters carried small beagles in their saddlebags on their way to hunt. That's the Beagle Best of Breed, exhibit number 3221. Now we see one of the most recognizable of our hound breeds, the Bloodhound. Mr. G. Johnson was the breed judge. There were 43 Bloodhounds with us here at Crust this year. And Mr. Johnson selected this male for best of breed, exhibit number 3348. The Bloodhound is a dog of great size and imposing dignity. It must be one of the easiest of hand breeds to be recognized, even by the least doggy person. One of the most notable of the scent hounds, and used to assist in locating lost persons, tracking escaped felons, and has been featured in many a detective story. Belgium. It's probably the Bloodhounds were brought to Britain by the Normans in 1066. That's the Bloodhound Best of Breed, exhibit number 3348. Now we come to one of the most elegant and spectacular breeds of dogs, the Borzoi. This is E. Whitehead, was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 100 made by 92 exhibits. This is Whitehead selected as male, as best of breed, exhibit number 3433. The breed originates in Russia, where they were a great favorite of the Russian courts and nobles. The Borzoi, also known as the Russian Wolfhound, is built on the lines of speed and grace. And in fact, the word Borzoi in Russian translates as swift, a general term for sighthounds. The breed was bred for hunting small game and more especially wolves. We first came to Britain in the late 1800s and were mixed from the Tsar of all the Russians to Queen Alexandra. The doors are of striking quality, sensitive, alert, and aloof. And its profuse silky coat needs a lot of grooming and attention, believe me. That's exhibit number 3433, best of breed doors And now on the 
table, we have the long-haired Dachshund. This is now a coxswain's breeder. It was a breed entry of 107, made by 100 exhibits. And Mrs. Coxon selected this pitcher's first degree, exhibit number 3509. There are six varieties of Dachshund, all dependent on size and coat. This is the first to be seen today, the standard long-haired Dachshund. The long-coated variety of the Dachshund may not be as well known as the smooth Dachshund, but it would appear to make up for this in the beauty of its coat. Germany is with all the Dachshund varieties. It was originally bred for badger hunting. The long, the long thick coat uh, protected from big storms and made it to endure both cold, heat, and this coarse rain through. That's the best of breed long haired Dachshund exhibit number 3509. And now we see the miniature of the long haired variety of the Dachshund, the miniature long haired Dachshund. This M. Norton was the breed judge. It was a breed entry of 176 made by 164 exhibits. And Miss Norton selected this bitch's best of breed, exhibit number 3628. These miniatures are in many respects similar to the standard long hair Jackson, but with the obvious exception of size and weight. Standard size for you for use for pursuing the quality of the quarry above ground, and the smaller miniatures being used to go to ground to drive the quarry out to prevent them from getting back to the earth. This is the best of big miniature long head Daxon, exhibit number 3628. Mr. S.A. Lennon was the breed judge today for smooth head Daxons. There's a breed entry of 80 made by 77 exhibits and Learned selected as male for best of breed, exhibit number 3778. This is the best known of all the Daxon varieties. And being first and foremost a sporting dog, the smooth Daxon is remarkably versatile to be equally adaptable as a house pet. The smooth coat is impervious to rain and wind. His temperament and, temperament and acute intelligence makes this breed an ideal, an ideal companion. International name of Daxon, the Badger Dog, and reflects his bridge original purpose. Long body, short neck dogs have been known since the days of the ancient Egypt. So here we see the smooth head Daxon, exhibit number 3778. Well, we've just seen the smooth Daxon, standard size, and now we see the miniature smooth head Daxon. Mr. F. Kane was the breed judge. It was a breed entry of 163 and then 148 exhibits. And Mr. Kane selected this bitch as best of breed, exhibit number 3841. Identical in confirmation to the larger standard smooth, but with the exception of size and weight. It also has the short, dense, and smooth coat with the same qualities of courage, intelligence, gameness, and activity. The other varieties the miniature smooth Daxon is a fairly long and low dog, but still compact and with enough length of leg to move freely as it fits his purpose in life. That's the best of breed miniature smooth head Daxon, exhibit number 3841. And here we see the wire hair Daxon. There were 84 wire hair Daxons entered here at Crufts this year. And Miss L. Tatton, who was the breed judge, selected this bitch's best of breed, exhibit number 3989. This breed first came to Britain in 1888 and became so popular 
the Wild Ed Jackson Club was formed in 1927. As the brief name implies, the Wild Ed variety should carry a dense, hard coat, close line, which is harsh and wiry to the touch, and of course weather resistant. slightly more terrier-like appearance in its cousins. The head is made more attractive with the furnishings of bushy eyebrows and bearded chin. A hardy sport, sportsman-like looking hand with the temperament characteristics of the other Daxon varieties. That's the Wirehead Daxon, exhibit number 3989. This is the Molinari in Portugal was the brief judge today for miniature Wirehead Daxons. The breed we see now on the table. There is a breed entry of 148, made by 138 exhibits. And this is Molinari selected this male for best of breed, exhibit number 4034. This is the last and by no means the least of our Daxon varieties to be seen. This variety of Daxon was not recognized by the Kennel Club until 1959. So the goat in the the largest type of wine, despite the size, is well able to fulfill its purpose. The last of the bags of wine has been seen, maybe they're crust, but uh, by no means the least. That's the miniature wine at Daxon, exhibit number 4034. Now we move on to the deer hound. This K. Barrett was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 138 made by 130 exhibits, and Miss Barrett selected this male for best of breed, exhibit number 4253. Known at one time as the Scottish Deerhound. The Deerhound is one of the oldest British breeds here in the British Isles. Dignity and humour, affection and loyalty all play their part part with this breed's temperament, and he delights in exercise. Gets on well with other dogs. <laughs> this is lacking the origin of this breed, but there are reasons for thinking that the animal may have been taken to Scotland by the Phoenician traders. After a period of decline, the breed became more popular and became the subject of paintings by Lancer. That's the best of breed Deerhound, exhibit number 4253. And here we see the Finnish Spitz. The breed was judged today by Mrs. M. D. Montgomery. And there was a breed entry of 43 made by 42 exhibits. And Mrs. Montgomery selected this male for best of breed, exhibit number 4307. The Finnish Spitz is the national dog of Finland, with a written breed standard going back to 1812. In fact, a number of Finnish national patriotic songs include the mention of the breed. Originally in its homeland of Finland, the Finnish Spitz was used to track larger games, such as bear and elk, but is now used to seek out game birds such as black grouse. The Finnish Spitz thrives on exercise and enjoys working in the coldest of weathers. And here we see the best of three Finnish Spitz, exhibit number 4307. Now out of the ring we have the Foxhound. This was another breed judged today by Mrs. D. Courtney. It was a breed entry of 10, and Mrs. Courtney selected this male for best of breed, exhibit number 4337. The origins, origins of the foxhound date back to approximately the 13th century when fox hunting began to supersede stag hunting. It was found necessary to breed a faster type of hound, and so the foxhound, as we know it, evolved. By disposition, the foxhound is affectionate and faithful, but not aggressive.
a good voice, a deep nose, a good constitution, and an ability to get on with other dogs are all the hallmarks of the fox out. And we, here we see the best of breed Crufts 2009 fox out, exhibit number 4337. Now we have the Greyhound. This is Jay Banyard, Mr. Breed Judge. It was a breed entry of 92 made by 80 exhibits. And Mrs. Banyard selected as male for best of breed, exhibit number 4344. The Greyhound is one of the hand breeds that is most easily recognizable by most people. A typical sighthound, a breed capable of great speed, and reaching speeds of 43 miles per hour in the Greyhound is the Dog's world's most important speed merchant. It's the prototype of the so-called sighthound. The greyhound is well known to many people for its racing ability. His name derives from the old Saxon word three, meaning fine or beautiful. He makes a grand companion who is gentle, affectionate, and faithful to people. It's the best of breed Greyhound, exhibit number 4344. And now we see the best of breed Hamilton Stuhra. Mr. Spaven was the breed judge, and there was a breed entry of 19. And Mr. Spaven selected this bitch as best of breed, exhibit number 4422. This handsome stylish hand comes from Sweden, where it is the most popular of the hand breeds. The Hamilton Stuber gets his name from the breed creator, Adolf Patrick Hamilton, who also was the founder of the Swedish Kennel Club. And the Hamilton Stuber was first shown in 1886. the best of breed Hamilton Stuber, exhibit number 4422. And now we move on to the Ethan Hound. This is R. E. E. Harrison was the breed judge. And there was a breed entry of 20 made by 18 exhibits. And this bitch was selected as best of breed, exhibit number 4450. The breed takes his name from the island of Ibiza and probably arrived there by way of early trading ships thousands of years ago. The breed has a great ability to jump and is a renowned escapologist. Certainly one of the largest of the ham breeds, the Irish Wolfhound. This I.D. Han de Levy was the breed judge, and there was a breed entry of 134 made by 127 exhibits. And this bitch was selected as best of breed, exhibit number 4561. In spite of this breed size, the Irish Wolfhound is one of the most gentle of dogs. The breed has been present in Ireland for almost 2,000 years and was bred to have wolves. The breed almost done that in the early 1800s following the killing of the last wolf and of course the general great famine of Ireland. Due to its 
size and needs a great deal of space and should not be taken on lightly. That's the best degree Irish Wolfhound, exhibit number 4561. Now we see the Norwegian Elk Hound. Mr. B.T. Nichols was the breed judge. It was a breed entry of 59, 59 made by 55 exhibits. And this bitch was selected, best of breed by Mr. Nichols, exhibit number 4638. The Norwegian Elk Hound is the national dog of Norway. And this breed has existed in Scandinavia for at least 5,000 years. The current breed standard being developed in the late 1800s. A very solid dog for a hound, needing to be able to cope with its traditional prey, the elk. This fixed title of 30 years and curly tail is a friendly dog with a loud voice which can act as a terror to unwanted visitors. That's the best of breed Norwegian elk hound, exhibit number 4638. Now we come to the otter hound. This is Lee Corden, who is the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 38 made by 35 exhibits. And Mrs. Corden selected this male for best of breed, exhibit number 4641. The earliest references to the breed were those made related to the hounds of King John and other 13th century facts. The otter hound was developed to enter the coldest rivers and follow the otter to its home. Now that otters are not a pest or hunted, the otter hound's original function no longer applies. However, at the beginning of the 20th century, there were more than 20 otter hunting packs. The otter hounds are finding by the typical pen in the call, which you can use to give effect. That only needs to indicate that it's found a scent that interests him. A large dog with a truly rugged appearance. The double coat is extremely weather resistant. That's the best of breed otter hound exhibit number 4641. And now we move on to the pharaoh hound. There were 42 pharaohs with us here across 2009, and this is B. J. Brooker, the breed judge, selected this male for best of breed, exhibit number 4686. The elegant, dignified pharaoh hound is probably descended from the small, lithe wolf and sorry, the small, lithe wolf that inhabited the Arabian Peninsula. Venetian traders brought the breed to the islands of Malta and Gozo approximately 2,000 years ago, where it has remained isolated in a pure state. the best of breed feral hound, exhibit number 4686. And now we come to one of the newcomers to the hound group here at Grubbs, 2009, the Portuguese Padena, or Warren Hound. This is Seaman Molinari from Portugal was the breed judge. He received an entry of 86 made by 82 exhibits, and she selected this male as best of breed, exhibit number 4742. There are three varieties of Padenga in the native colony of Portugal. And here we see the smallest of the three Portuguese Padenga varieties, but the only one that is recognized at present by the Canada in Britain. The smaller type of Padengas are used for flushing game and for ratting. It is likely to be developed from dogs such as feral animals when they spread to the Iberian, Iberian Peninsula but small Iberian wolves may have also played their part. This is the best of breed Portuguese Padengo, exhibit number 4742. Now we come to the Rhodesian Ridgeback. This ATE Afanyemi was the breed judge. Uh, there were a breed entry of 258 made by 232 exhibits. 
And this picture was selected as best of Britain, exhibit number 4962. Zimbabwe, of course, was assisting this big game hunters in the pursuit of their quarry, which often included lion. In the rigid hair growing the wrong way down, and spines are unique characteristic of the And the two crowns of hair either side of the ridge, just behind the shoulders. He's an excellent family dog, affectionate, loyal, and protected with his family and home. That's the Crest of Green Revolution Ridge Bank, exhibit number 4962. Now moving on, we have the Saluki. This is Xenophon Andrews with the breed judge. It was a breed entry of 177, made by 151 exhibits. And this is Thorne Andrews selected as male's best of breed, exhibit number 5172. Saluki, which closely resembles dogs depicted on the tombs of Egyptian pharaohs, was the much prized hunting companion of nomadic Bedouin tribesmen. It is possible that the Saluki has been selectively bred for longer than any other breed of dog. This place will dignify dog as a hand of hunting instinct. Saluki, exhibit number 5172. And now you see the Saluki. This is Ed Summerfield, who was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 14. And this is Summerfield selecting. This bitch is best of breed, exhibit number 5184. This is a breed which comes from the deserts and mountains of North Africa having existed there for many centuries as a typically working site hound. A dog which is affectionate towards owner, but indifferent to strangers. And though the breed has been in the European show scene for many years, it's only the latter part of the 20th century, the slogan has been shown and seen here in Britain. tribes that invaded the northwest Africa over a thousand years ago. It may come from the Yemen town of Salu. That's the Salubi, that's the breed, exhibit number 5184. And the last of the hound breeds to be seen is the Whippet. It's received the largest of the entry of the hound breeds at 479. And so there were two judges. Dogs were judged by Mr. C.K. Thornton and bitches by Mrs. Pinnie Marston Pollock. It was our group judge that selected the best of breed, as our judges agreed to the equipment to agree, so this bitch was selected as best of breed, exhibit number 5546. For versatility and adaptability, there are few, if any, dogs that can compare with the weather. A dog of gentle, affection, and even disposition. That's the best of breed whippet, exhibit number 5546. So again, these are our breeds. The hand group here having been seen by Mrs. McDonald. Another quick look around, each, around the ring at each of the breeds before our shortlist is selected. As you look around, you can see that we have two types. The sight hounds, of course, and the scent hounds. Sight hounds are the ones, the dogs that hunt by sight and run down their quarry. And scent towns and those dogs that hunt by scent. And most of the scent towns that we can see were using hunt packs. And they're the larger and the heavier type of the breeds. As you look around, you can see that the scent towns are built on heavier lines, having stronger legs, deeper chests, and large muzzles and nostrils. 
great assistance to their sending abilities. The miniature short hand, that's him, who's there, that's him. The Irish wolf hand, the pharaoh hand. And finally the wicket, and that concludes our short list. And again, can I ask you to show your appreciation to the hand best of breeds if they leave the ring? Congratulate them on their success here at Class 2009. So we have a short list of eight finalists now in the Hound Group from an entry of over 3,000 Hound Group Hound entries in the Hound Group here at Class 2009. So again, each will be moved by Mrs. McDonald. And the first to go off is the Descendi. Exhibit number 2739. And the group is today by Mrs. Summerfield. And now off goes the Petit Basset Grip of Rondion, 2927. The group is today by Mrs. D. Courtney.
decision made is going to be the Pharaoh Down. The winner of the Hungary Cup 2009, the Pharaoh Down, 4686. And how good two is the Petit Basse Griffin Formula 2927. How group three is the Whippet. Exhibit number 5546. How group four is the Minister Stuart Head Action. Exhibit number 3841. So again, I'm going to ask you to show your appreciation to our other hundred shortest degrees as they leave the ring and being congratulated by Mrs. Anne McDonald. So, as Mrs. Anne McDonald returns to her winner, this leaves me to introduce the awards to be made by Wendy Stevens, the Director of Art and Range, Pet Foods, escorted into the ring by Mr. Bill Hardaway, the Vice Chairman of the Kennel Club. So again, to recap, the winner of the Hamburg Crafts 2009 is the Pharaoh Hand, exhibit number 4686. And Crust 2009 Pound Group Group 2, the Petit Basset Griffin Bondion, 2927. Crust Pound Group 3, the Whippet, 5546. And of course, the Pound Group 4, the Many Smooth the Hair Daxon, exhibit number 3841. And again, as before, Mr. Peter Ellis will take an interview with our winner. And I've got the winner here, Jenny Hall, who owns this absolutely magnificent fair around, very spectacular in the ring. Well, this dog's done nothing but win for the past two years. No, he has done really good in the show rings. And uh, world winner? Uh, Second? Yeah. Fantastic to come over here from Sweden and to take this. We've had two import, well, foreign dogs coming in and winning today. You must feel very proud. Yeah, I am very, very proud. <laughs> you look as though you're enjoying it anyway. Congratulations, there's our winner for the hand group, absolutely magnificent. I'm going to ask you to leave your hand for water, please. So, the winner of the hand group, Crafts 2009, the Pharaoh Hand, exhibit number 4686.